All right, folks, we're back here at Hudson Civic Center, Civic Arena, or whatever it's called. Got Nick Bradshaw on the line. Working Hudson Crusaders against Granite City Lumberjacks. This game took place on Friday, January 8th, 2010. So far, we've had very heads up work by Mr. Bradshaw doing a lot of little things right. Like, they got this high guy floating. Got to be so tight on calling that line. Okay, we got. Icing, attainable touch, bam. First turn beat. Roll, 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 roll. A little quiet riot mental health. Turn it up. Oh, so much for that. Reminds me of PBA's sixth grade. Shark. Great. Very good. Bam, get in there. Sorry, I'm making uh, game notes here. Enjoy the action. This period has been cruising. Normally I uh, start videotaping in the second period and I didn't this night because um, Uncle Bob was there. And so I watched the game and talked about the game with him. And uh, they started taping to the third. And in the game, 20 minute period, you would think uh, yeah, half an hour. I get 30 minutes of film in. Huh. Game was clipping along so well. I was wondering if I was going to get maybe just 25 minutes. All right, here we go. That's getting low. There's nothing wrong with that, buddy. I like that. You've decreased your margin of error by a bazillion percent. They can get down low like that and the, the distance the puck is traveling is almost nil. Oh, woo-hoo! Goalie made a routine save. Hip hip hooray. Okay, there's... It's hard to see, but... We were setting into it. That looked like... We'll get another look here. Look right before you drop the puck, and look how you spread your feet there. I can understand it, because guys are thinking, okay, I'm going to get into this. But your stance needs to be such a... I'm going to say all the time, can you knock Adrian Peterson out from that stance? Yeah, he looked uh, big boy, little rock. Yeah. 
Okay. Let's go to heads up there. Watch your players, watch your benches, words in my position. Watch my partners. Watch your clock. Bada bing, bada bing. Rolling through that mental roll of X. Okay. No, I like this. I really do, especially on specialty situations. Now, uh, USA Hockey Pierce would say you blow your whistle to get those two guys behind you back. Well, you got to remove both centers. He only has two guys. And let's think about it from a coach's perspective. Hey, creepers from behind. Got to make a note here. Okay, you put a line out there specifically to A kill penalty to B, you know, power play, and hopefully you're putting a centerman out there who you think is going to win the draw. Now, if you're going to kick both centers out, I'm going to be like, oh, come on, god dang it. You know, A, you quit being so picky, or just let it slide, or whatever. Okay, those guys are out there to do a job. Let them do their job. If you're going to just back them both up, I think that's perfect what he did right there. Okay? Backside, get back. You don't need to pitch them both. It's time to get back. You know, they're being complete idiots back there. Then you give them the gate. And you get a new center in there. Okay, that's Dana. Now they're gonna switch switch off. Good heads up, good teamwork. Bam. Okay. My challenge would be to you. I'll hustle your partner. Years ago, I had one goal and one goal only in WCHA. Wasn't I was going to work playoffs. Wasn't I was going to do this, do that. It was I was going to work outward everybody everybody in the league um can I prove it nah do I think I did it darn right I did so even if it's 10 to 0 never go at the same pace as your partner one up that guy seriously one up that guy Even as you're waiting there, Nick, be in that ready stance where you're ready to knock AP out. Declete them. Even there, even on that one, come just. I gotta stop. <laughs>